Thank you. <laughs> See you, mate. Have a good one. How's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. I don't really like to show, showing off and all that kind of stuff, but I mean, we do a lot of car stuff on this channel, so I, was, I felt it was only necessary to talk to you about what kind of car I was gonna get and the reason why I'm selling my current car. When you have a nice car, you have a car that you enjoy driving, it actually becomes fun and it becomes a hobby. It doesn't become going to a destination. Driving is the whole reason. So I went out and bought a brand new 2019 WRX STI Premium. Mouthful of, of a car. To say. Anyway, so pretty much I thought I'd show you the process of me selling my current car because if you don't know, I just drive a normal 2013 WRX. Back in 2018, Lamont and I actually used to flip cars because I worked at a car dealership so I could buy cars really cheap. We used to buy cars really cheap, take some really fuck off photos of the cars and then put them online for sale at some pretty reasonable prices. And we actually made a bit of money. I used to make money flipping cars. That was kind of like my first sort of business that I started before I started doing YouTube or the phone cases I had a while ago. Flipping cars was really my first taste in going out and doing my own shit and making money from it. And that's how I got a hold of my first WRX because I could buy it so cheap. And my plan was just to quickly sell it off again and then go get something else. But, but I ended up quitting my job and then going full-time into YouTube. So I just decided to keep the car because I needed a car. About 12 or 13 months later, pretty much exactly one year later, I'm now ready to buy a new car, which means I've got to get rid of this one. In my experience of selling and buying of buying and selling a few cars the photos are the most important part of the car honestly you could have a dog shit car but if you have really nice photos of the car you will actually attract a lot of attention but the first things first if you remember from one of my other videos if you've been following me for a little while we bought an E46, we called it L Davis, we gave it a fat detail. And the guy who gave it a detail, his name's Glenn, and he owns a company called Street Appeal Detailing. He does really affordable detailing, and he also is mobile, so he can come to you anywhere around Melbourne, or this, I think the metro area of Melbourne. So he's gonna come around now, and we're gonna give the car a little clean. Hey, hey, how, how are ya? Good man, good yeah, to see you. you too, man. I kept it nice and dirty for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Looks brand new again. Well done. Thanks, man. <laughs> Doing good. Nice. And that light reflects really nicely. It's a massive difference. I've never actually cleaned my wheels of my car because they're the same color as dirt. When they're actually clean now, they look so much better. <laughs> There's always a problem. No matter where we go, there's always a, there's always got to be an issue somehow. In this case, there's just actually too many flies right, right so now. still, I want to see. Dude, look. Welcome to Australia. Once you're at your location, you can do a number of two things. If you know somebody with a camera or if you have your own camera, that's ideal. And you want to be using like a 24 to 70 lens. Over 50 mil or <laughs> fuck's sake, this is going to be hard. Basically, yeah, you need to use a 50 mil lens or over. You don't need to, but I would recommend using 50 mil or higher. So in this case, I'm going to use my 85 mil. That way I get the most natural look of my car. Wider lenses than 50 mil generally warp the perspective of the car, the actual lines and perspective mm. line, and the, the lines. You, you get the point. Use a fucking long lens. And also, if you don't have access to a camera or you don't know somebody with a camera and you just want to shoot photos on your phone, tap it to two times zoom or just zoom in a little bit and that's going to kind of give you the same look and then for the interior if you can use a wide-angle lens that's the most ideal so your camera settings are always gonna change no matter what situation you're in but right now with these lighting conditions I'm shooting on one over two hundredth of a second I've got my aperture set to f4 and I've got my ISO set to 200 and I'm gonna shoot at an aperture of f4 because that allows me to get the front and a bit of the back of the car in focus just literally gonna do a 360 around the car shooting close-ups and a bit further away
Now that we've taken all the photos, don't be afraid to upload all these photos online. When somebody's looking for a car, they want to see as many photos as possible. And it also kind of helps make you look a bit more legit. When you're looking for accommodation, like an Airbnb or something, imagine only being able to see like three or four photos of where you're staying. It's exactly the same for buying a car. The person buying the car, I know that, I, I just know that I do this. So when I'm looking for a car, I want to see as many photos as possible. So most Subarus on the market are going for about 24 to 25 grand. I bought my car last year for 21 grand. So I'm going to put it up for 21 grand. <laughs> so let's see if I can make my money back on it. The reason why I'm not putting it up for like 24, 25 grand is because I'm not trying to battle it out with everybody else trying to sell the exact same car for the exact same price because I'm trying to actually move my car and get rid of it because I don't have the, enough space to keep it anymore. Once you're happy with your ad and you've posted your car, if I can give you some advice from what I've learned in the past trying to sell cars, just prepare yourself for people that are just gonna waste your time, people that are gonna lowball you, people that are gonna come and look at your car and say, I'm still looking around and never get back to you, people that are gonna just give you the most ridiculous fucking bullshit prices. Some guy tried to offer me 15 grand. Why would I give my card? I, I'm better off literally trading it into a dealership. I'd probably get more money for it than giving it to you. There may be some people that when you're trying to sell your car that are just literally looking for the cheapest, best deal. But as you know in life, the cheapest, best deal is generally not the best deal because something's gonna go wrong. There's always a catch. If you want something good quality, you pay for it. That's just how life works. That's how it's always worked. And that's how it will continue to work. You simply cannot have the best for the cheapest price. It's just, that's just how it fucking works. It's Which is like, I don't know, to give you an example, I don't know if it's true. This is what I heard around the, 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 the neighborhood. This is what they're saying is that, you know, Sony's are more expensive just because they're better than Nikon. That's just what I heard. Well, after about 256 million bullshit messages, I've finally got a really nice message from a guy called Ben. Pretty much said, hey Mike, I'm interested in the car. Tried to buy one a little while ago, but it was under finance. And then the purchase had to get canceled, yada yada. Really like your car, really interested. I've got the money available now. Would love to come have a look at the car. So I gave Ben a call and he's like, yep, sounds good. I want to come check out the car. I trust you. I trust your photos. I trust what you've said. So I'm going to get a bank check. And if he's happy with the car in person, which I'm sure he will be, uh, we settled on a price. He, he said he said to me, I saw you, you, the car was up for 21,000. Can we do a better price? I was happy to take 20 grand. So I said, look, the, the least I'll take is 20 grand plus 200 bucks to get the car roadworthy. He's going to bring me a bank check and he should be here any minute. Hey, well, nice Take to meet to you. Me I'm Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Righto. Yeah, well, here's the car here. I'll bring it out for you. Yeah, still stock. Looks pretty mint, mate, yet. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's the bank check, 20,200. Should get a notification in the bank. Yep, here we go. 20,200. All right, last thing left to do. When you sell a car, just put a full tank of fuel in it. Because if you're not putting a full tank of fuel in your car after you sell it, you're just being a shit person. Thank you. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I will. See you, mate. Have a good one. Feels, feels weird, feels empty. I'm not saying I got attached to that car, but fuck, it was a good car. All right, well, I think it's time to put the new car in its rightful place in the garage. Feels weird looking at this car because the car still doesn't feel like my one yet, but throughout this year, I'll be doing some photo shoots and I'll make some videos about this new STI and then Liam's car as well because we both got the same car. So I'll be able to go out, shoot them together, document the process of me modifying this car. I don't know how hectic I'm gonna go with it. I might just do some exterior mods for now. I hope I taught you something new today. If you did like today's video, leave a like down below. Help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one. Well, I just got a call from the tow truck. Oh, fuck, I can't even speak right now. I'm so fucking excited. I just got a call from the tow truck driver. Oh, I can see it in the reflection. Here's my new car. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that's not my car. No, that's not my fucking car.